so this is igen's conductivity meter it comes with a conductivity electrode as well as a temperature probe it also comes with three different conductivity standard solutions so this is the digital display of the conductivity meter and these are various buttons for controlling the various parameters so the first button which is the measure button is used to turn off the machine you have to press and hold the measure button and the conductivity meter turns off and to turn this on you have to single press the measure button and it turns off the second function of the measure button is to freeze the readings you have to press this button and the readings freeze to release the readings you have to press the measure button again this particular button is used to change the mode so you can switch between tds and conductivity this is the cal button to open the setup menu you have to press and hold the cal button and the setup menu opens up so the first parameter is the cell constant so you have to set the cell constant according to the conductivity electrode that you are using so to change the cell constant you have to use these up and down arrow keys you can select between 1 10 user defined or point up press enter to select the particular cell constant then the second parameter is the calibration points so you can set ranging from 1 to 3 calibration points according to the buffer you are using for the calibration purpose so you can again switch between 1 2 and 3 calibration points using the up and down arrow keys then you have to press the enter button it goes to the next parameter which is the coefficient so you can set the coefficient using this particular option press enter this is the tds factor you can set the tds factor using this particular option press enter it goes to unit this is the unit for temperature you can select between degree celsius and degree fahrenheit and press enter so the auto hold function is used to stabilize or freeze the readings when the machine detects that the readings are not fluctuating and are stable so you have to press enter it goes to auto off option which means that if the machine is left on for a certain period of time it will automatically turn off press enter it goes to reset you can select yes if you want to take the machine to the factory reset settings and press enter so it comes back to the measurement mode So to set the temperature manually you have to remove the temperature probe and you can set the temperature using the degree celsius button over here and you can set the temperature using the up and down arrow keys So you can return back to the measurement mode using the measure button when you are in any setup menu So to set the particular temperature you have to press enter and it goes to the measurement mode and the particular temperature is set so to start with the calibration you have to single press the cal button it goes to the calibration mode so you have to take the first standard solution and place it in here like this and press the enter button when the display shows the current standard solution value so you have to press the enter button and the calibration starts so after the calibration 1 is completed it automatically goes to calibration 2 and you have to remove the electrode from the solution and you have to wash the electrode using the distilled water and wipe the electrode using the tissue paper and take the second standard solution and place the electrode in here like this so it automatically detects the standard buffer solution and you have to press the 
enter button and it begins to calibrate. So after calibration 2 is completed, it goes to Cal 3 automatically. Then you have to remove the electrode and wash and wipe it for the next calibration. Now take the third calibration buffer and dip the electrode inside it. So it automatically detects the standard solution. Then you have to press enter. So it begins to calibrate. So as the calibration is completed, it displays end and goes back to the measurement. So now remove the electrode and wash and wipe the electrode again. So now place the sample solution and dip the electrode in it and press the measure button to release the readings. So it shows the readings or the conductivity of this sample stage. So it automatically freezes the readings when the readings stabilize. So this is how iGene's conductivity meter 